by itself. You've had four guns in each wing. All nine guns. Or if you like 50 caliber. In each wing. Four in each wing. Virtually shred your airplane. Once further development of other aircraft came along, the P-47 was relegated to a role of ground support and ground attack. But in the early stages, when you had the P-47 Razorback, like Phil is flying right now. He's on final approach. Check gear down and lock, clear to land. We'll do the nice wheel landing. Just kisses the runway. Let her go. still goes into combat today. Gear up. There's nothing like the sound of thrust, ladies and gentlemen. But a good announcer has to know when to shut up. And we have jet aircraft in the air, ladies and gentlemen. You just gotta love to listen to it. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason and the F-15 Strike Eagle. Subsonic aircraft. It is meant to be a ground attack and ground support airplane, and as such, is a devastating weapon. You notice the aircraft has a straight wing. It is not a swept wing. It is a subsonic aircraft. It flies very slow in the threat area, but it is highly maneuverable. It is extremely difficult to get a radar lock on this airplane. Yes, I see we have a B-1RD out there on the horizon as well. Part of the air show. Get his number. 
Greg Fussy now bringing the A-10 Thunderbolt to into Air Show Center, ladies and gentlemen. Another Kodak, Kodak moment here at Sanford. The real aircraft has two Garrett engines producing approximately 5,800 pounds of thrust each. More than enough to put this airplane into the air with all its weaponry on board. We'll actually carry enough weaponry on board more than a B-17 during World War II. One more time, Greg Fushi and the A-10 Thunderbolt II. Told you it was maneuverable. Greg likes to fly the program the same way the demo team does at a full-scale air show. We're going to demonstrate some amazing maneuverability of this airplane. I do believe we might see some actual tactical weaponry being used here today. It's going to dive into the threat area. soft out there. Greg also likes to demonstrate the slow flying capability of this aircraft. And I'm sure he'll give us a demonstration of that as well. Here comes the well-known Cuban 8 in the tactical threat area. Like I said, you cannot walk onto an aircraft that is maneuvering you cannot get a radar lock because it's moving, moving too fast, jinking too fast, and uncontrollably from the standpoint of somebody trying to get a radar lock. He does carry a weapon on board called an anti-radar missile. And if you do turn your radar on and you try to get a radar lock, he will fire the anti-radar missile. Once again, we will be trying to explain to the 27 vessel virgins how we managed to get there. Now turning in the final approach.
Greg Fushi in the A-10 Thunderbolt 2, ladies and gentlemen.